guys, it's Nick and Joe. Today, we're going to talk about what we think the four primary reasons of why we should own a life insurance. So, we like to, to draw a lot of pictures, so we'll get right to it. I'm going to start with uh, kind of a story about a couple. Think about maybe your own family. So, let's say you've got your first job, you're married, you have a couple of kids. At this point, what's the primary reason why someone would want to own life insurance, Jeff? Protect the breadwinner's income. Perfect. So in our picture here, we have a timeline uh, between today and whatever it is when we're going to die. And we don't know when that time is going to come. And then we're going to accumulate wealth as we kind of go up the mountain. We're going to reach a certain point where we become financially independent. We have enough assets that we don't have to transfer that risk to an insurance company. Until we get there, we think about term insurance as the primary vehicle that you would generally use for that is really cheap and effective to protect. We've now reached the top of the mountain, so to speak, and what happens in our minds as we transition? So we are financially independent. We don't really need to have replacement of income anymore because we've accumulated assets. Maybe the kids are old enough and they're on their own. Um, debt levels are really low. So really we start to focus on family legacy with the insurance policies as opposed to uh, replacement against the catastrophic what if. So as we transition to legacy, we generally transition from a term policy to some sort of permanent policy. Mm -hmm. And that's probably a whole separate video on the different types of permanent policies. But as we have this permanent policy, we know that we've maybe identified people that we wanna leave money to whether it be a charity or children or whatever the case might be. Mm -hmm. But as we go down the mountain, as we approach death, what are really the two additional ways that we might be able to utilize life insurance? So uh, number one, and we've done a video on it, is utilizing the long-term care uh, component of life insurance in the hybrid policies. It's a great way to protect the assets for the legacy uh, by passing the risk of having to pay for long-term care coverage, uh, passing that risk over to the insurance company. In today's day and age, it might be the only really viable way to get life and to get, excuse me, long-term care is through that hybrid type yeah. of policy. Yeah, and then the, the fourth way I would, um, I would utilize life insurance, especially the permanent policies, is for uh, asset accumulation and, uh, and, and really the non-reportable income uh, that could get kicked off of a cash value inside your life insurance policy. So that might be going back to the top of the mountain where 50 years old, kids are out of the house, we're no mortgage, we're maxing out our retirement plans. We still have money left over that we want to contribute to mm -hmm. something. Generally, that's where we see these cash value policies right. set up. Fund the cash policy for the next 10 or 15 years of your work history. Now you're 65 and retired, and you could utilize the cash value from that life insurance policy as non-reportable income to help supplement your uh, retirement income in the most tax efficient way ever. Perfect. So those are the four ways of why you might want to own life insurance. Protect the income, leave a legacy, long-term care planning, and finally non-reportable income through the cash value. Which one fits your plan?